Hi and welcome back. One of the issues that I have with some of those old machines is that um, the hard drives in them are fairly small and it's a bit hard to come by those drives these days. Um, some of the machines I've got, about the biggest I've got is about 2 gigabytes, I said 28s, and they're a fairly slow old drive. I do have, however, quite a few of these um, brick style, I think they're called storage works um, drives that are 9 gig, 18 gig, 36 gig, so they're quite a bit bigger. The only trouble is, is that these things plug into a storage works expansion and inside I have a drive. And if you pull this off, look at the back, there's a SCA, 80 pin SCA connector on the back. Even though this drive is a VA, which means it's a narrow SCSI device, which should be compatible with 50 pin, um, the connector isn't. So, what comes to the rescue? is this board here, which is just an adapter board that has your SCA connector on the back and then you have the 68 pin and also the 50 pin SCSI connector there. Um, you plug in your power here because all the power comes through the SCA connector and you can set your SCSI IDs and various settings there. So in the case of this one um, you just plug that in the back, like that, and then you can plug your 50 pin SCSI cable in there, and your power. Okay, so there's my disc plugged into the adapter, and into the 3100's SCSI board. Okay, the driver's shown up, got the RZ1DF here, for some reason it says 510 meg, which is obviously wrong. Anyway, we shall boot VMS and see what it thinks. Okay, VMS can see it. Let's see if we can mount it. Okay, so there we have it. Got our 9 gig SCA80 hard drive hooked up into the old VAC station and it looks like it's fine. Of course you can't boot off it because it's um, bigger than the 1 gig limit but you can use it as a data disk. Yeah, it looks about right. It's the three blocks divided by 2048. Should give you a meg. And 8.6, uh, 9 gig disk. Okay, time to plug it into the alpha. Let's see what happens. And there it is. Shows up as DKA200. Which is an RZ1DF drive. So we'll boot the operating system and see what we can do with it. Shows up there.
Yeah, there's our disc. Okay, next thing I tried is a compact Ultra 320 72 gig 15k disc and it shows up in the console. So it'll be interesting to see whether it works under VMS. Yeah, just looking good. I initialised it and mounted it. Lots of space. Okay, I've now booted minimum and I was going to create a copy of the RZ28 system disk to the new disk. So we'll just mount. Let that run for a while and see if we can boot off it. Okay, we'll try and boot it now. Yeah, 200. Do a full boot. Okay, so we've now booted off DKA 200 successfully. 72 gigabyte drive, Ultra 320, so, and 15k RPM, so a bit of high performance drive running on our offer. Of course, it's only running in SCSI 2 compatibility mode, but at least it's got a lot of capacity and it's running at high speed at 15k, which is an advantage over the the old RZ28 that I had in there. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and we'll catch up with you next time.